Off we go now. That's over with. Me! Ascolian Veltisti, Evre! That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. Socrates the horse thief. I can almost hear the stories they'll tell. Aristophanes will love this. Unfortunately, those stories would be entirely fabricated. Although, I would like to see if you believe the story should still be told once you know the truth. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? 
I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Are you the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mystios judge me. Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had the Drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. Did you steal the horse to use it or sell it? I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There's no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me, I feel shame for what I did. Any reason you picked this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family?
Have you decided what should be done? If he needs the horse more than the man he stole it from, let him keep it. It'll do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? If the action was for a good reason, then he is in the right. So, in times like these, people like us get to determine the law. Many would believe a murder still deserves consequence. The people whose lives were saved would disagree. Then perhaps making choices that affect the most people for good is the correct path. Wouldn't you agree? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. If a farmer steals a fruit today, but gives some of his crop to the poor tomorrow, who may decide if he's good? <laughs> <sighs> If a farmer steals a fruit today, but gives some of his crop to the poor tomorrow, who may decide if it's good, huh? If a farmer steals a fruit today, but gives some of his crop to the poor tomorrow, who may decide if he's good, huh? If a farmer steals a fruit today, but gives some of his crop to the poor tomorrow, who may decide if he's good, huh? 